Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create a pause menu inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now before we dive in, I just want to show you really quick what we're going to create. So if I click play here, you'll see that our game opens up. And if I click the pause button, you'll see our pause menu here. If I click resume, we're back into the game. I click pause again and click save game. It says the game saved, but uh, we didn't really save it. And if I click exit to main menu, you'll see that our rather empty uh, main menu pops up here. And I'm going to X out and click play again and if I pause the game and click the quit button then our game quits. Alright so pretty cool uh, this won't take long to build so let's dive in and get started. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project so I'll select the third person template and I'll call this pause menu tutorial create project now let's head over here to the root content folder and we're going to create two new folders. The first will be levels and the second will be UI. Now inside of third person BP maps, select this third person example map, control C to copy, go inside of our levels folder and control V to paste it. Click on it, hit F2 to rename it and we'll call this world. Now right click and we're going to create a new level and we'll call this main menu. Now hit save all, save selected. Now let's head over here to the UI folder, right click, scroll down here to the bottom, user interface, widget blueprint, and we'll call this pause menu. Now right click, user interface, we're going to create another one and we'll call this one main menu. Save all, save selected. Now let's open up the pause menu. And the first thing we're going to create is a horizontal box, drag that down under the canvas panel and we're going to resize it and make it extend to the full width and full height of the canvas panel. Now the second thing we're going to create is a vertical box. Drag that down under the horizontal box and uh, click that. Right click, wrap width, size box. Now uh, select the size box and we're going to set the uh, sizing property to fill and it's going to be horizontally aligned center and vertically aligned center and we're going to override, uh, we're going to check the width and height override for this and we're going to set the width to 750 and the height to 400. Now the next thing we'll do is create a button, drag that down under the vertical box and we'll create some text to go on top of that button. Now let's select the text and we'll set the font size to 35 and we'll select the button and hit this drop down for the padding and we'll give it a padding top of 50 or 25 sorry now select this button control c to copy select the vertical box and hit control v three times to paste it so we have four of these buttons total now select the text for this first button and we'll make this say uh, resume and the text for the second button that'll equal uh, save game and the third button will say exit to main menu and the final button will simply say quit now compile and save X out of that now go into the uh, open up the main menu widget blueprint and this will be really simple we'll just grab a piece of text drag it under the canvas panel and resize that make it a little larger and we'll set the font size equal to 50 and drag that about into the center here and we'll make this say main menu. Compile and save, X out. Now let's head over to our levels folder and open up the main menu world and head up here to uh, blueprints up at the top and select open level blueprint and then we're going to uh, right click get player controller drag off of here create widget and the widget we're going to create is the main menu widget blueprint and drag off of the return value and we'll say add to viewport and connect this to the event begin play so basically what this will do is uh, as soon as the level loads it will create the main menu uh, widget here and then we'll add it to the viewport which is basically the user screen so compile and control s to save that x out now up here at the top uh, where it says settings click that and go into the project settings and scroll down here to input and we're going to create a new action mapping so hit the plus symbol here and we'll call this a uh, new action pause and the key that will fire this action will be uh, P for pause 
Um, normally, here you would use the um, escape key. Inside of Unreal, uh, the escape key will exit the preview when we're previewing our game, and we don't want to you know, quit the game, we want to pause the game, so for now we'll just use P. But in your finalized project, you'd most likely want to use the escape button here. So X out of that, and let's go into the root folder and inside of third person BP, and under blueprints, we have our third person character here, open that up. And we're going to create two functions here, the first will be pause game, and the second will be unpause game. Compile and save that. Now go inside of the pause game function. And the first thing we're going to do is drag off of here and say set paused, set game paused. And we're going to set that to true. Let's drag off of here and create an is valid node. And this will basically check whether or not the pause menu has already been created. Uh, so if it has not been created, then we're going to say uh, create widget and the owning player will be get player controller and the widget we're going to create is our pause menu right here and then the return value we're going to promote that to a variable and we'll call that variable pause menu and then drag off of here and say add to viewport and the widget that we'll add to the viewport will be the pause menu variable that we just created. Now, if this widget has already been created, so if it is valid, then we'll just automatically add it to the viewport. We don't have to create it. Now we just need to add our variable here, so that's what we're checking. Grab all of this, move it forward just a little bit. Now over here at the end, we need to set input mode UI only. And the target is get player controller. And the in widget to focus is our pause menu widget blueprint. Now after here, the final thing we're going to do, actually right click get player controller and drag off of here and say set show mouse cursor. So as soon as the pause menu shows up, we want to show the mouse cursor. We don't want it to remain hidden. And we'll just set that to true. That should be all of this function. So compile and save. So open up the unpause game function. And inside of here, we're basically going to do uh, the exact opposite. We're going to reverse everything we just did. So set game paused. And we'll leave that to false this time. And then execute remove all widgets this will get rid of the pause menu and then set input mode game only and the target is get player controller and then finally let's drag off of here and say set show mouse cursor pull that right over here connect it up and we'll leave it to false since we want to hide the mouse cursor when the pause menu is removed so that should be finalized there. Compile and save. Now over here in the event graph, down here at the bottom, we're gonna right click and type pause. And we're getting this uh, pause input action that we created just a while ago. And as soon as it is pressed, we want to execute the pause game function. So when we press the pause key, whatever we've set that to inside of our project settings, this pause game function will execute. So um, let's just put a comment around that and say pause the game. And just line that up. Compile and save. X out of here. Now let's head over to our UI folder and open up the pause menu. This is the uh, final thing we need to do. We need to um, put some functionality onto our buttons. So after you've selected the first button, scroll down here to the bottom and select the unclicked event. So this will execute as soon as the button is clicked. And what we'll do here is right click, get player pawn, drag off of here, cast to third person character. And as the third person character, we're going to execute the unpause game function that we created inside of our third person character. Line that up and connect this to the on click event. So just select this and hit C to add a comment and we'll say resume button clicked. Line that up. 
Now I'll head back over here to the designer and select the save game button. Scroll down here to the bottom on click. Now I'm not actually going to add any save game functionality here. That's a whole nother video. But what I will do is drag off of here and say print string. And I'll just have this print out a quick string here. It'll say game saved. And in parentheses, I'll say not really because we didn't really save our game. So that's that. Let's put a comment around here and we'll say save game button clicked. And just neaten that up. Now back to the designer. We'll select the exit to main menu button, scroll down on clicked. And we'll just drag off of here and execute open level. And the level we're going to open is the main menu level. So just put a comment around that and say exit to main menu button clicked. And neaten that up. Back to the designer and our final button here, the quit button down here at the bottom on clicked. And this will simply quit the game. And the specific player will be get player controller. Put a comment around that and we'll say quit button clicked. Neaten that up. Compile and save. Now back here inside of the designer, one last thing I want to do is select this horizontal box and over here where it says anchors, click that and let's anchor it to the center. Uh, if we left it anchored to the top left, then what would happen is when we resize the window, it would get stuck and it wouldn't look nice. So let's just compile and save that and let's do the same thing for our main menu. Select this text here, anchor center, compile, save, X out of that. Now let's head over to our levels folder and open up the world level. Now, if we click this little drop down arrow here beside the play button and select new editor window, our game will pop up here. We can run around, do whatever. And if I click the pause button, you'll see that our pause menu does indeed show here. And we can see our cursor. Now, if I click resume, you'll see that we're transported back into our game and, and it's uh, no longer paused. If I click pause again and click save game, you'll see here it says game saved, not really. And if I click exit to main menu, You'll see that we are taken to our main menu here. Now if I exit out of that, play again, click pause, and click this quit button here, you'll see that we do indeed quit our game. Alright folks, well that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And I've got lots of new videos coming out every single week, so subscribe if you want to stay updated on that. This is Code Viper, and until next time.